do not play with fire. You've probably heard this over and over again, as a child, as an adult. I mean, you're probably telling your kids right now, children, don't play with fire. As old as the saying goes, its relevance never loses its importance. That's why today we're gonna to tell you all about candle safety and how to burn your candles safely. Hi, I'm Meg and welcome to Candle Safety 101. The first, the good part. Our candles are made with a non-toxic food grade soy wax. These produce a cleaner and longer burn. And our wicks are made with 100% cotton and are lead free. This means our candles are really safe to burn, even in the presence of babies and individuals with allergies. But remember, even the safest of products, if misused, can be potentially dangerous. So kids, do not play with fire. And remember to follow these simple instructions so that you and your loved ones can enjoy our lovely candles without any hassle. Number one, read the safety instructions. Always read the safety instructions. You can find these on the bottom of your box and on the bottom of the jar. It contains important information that you must read before giving light to your beautiful candle. Number two, control burning. Remember that fire creates heat and excessive heat isn't good for anything. So make sure you don't burn your candle continuously for more than three hours. Excessive burning can create excessive heat and we don't want that. Also allow enough cooling time between burns. We also advise that you burn our candles for a minimum of one hour. This prevents tunneling and provides an even burn all through your candle's life cycle. Number three, trim that wick. An extended or elongated wick can greatly affect the burning of your candle. Longer wicks create an uneven flame and apart from being dangerous, they can damage your candle. So we advise you to trim your wicks to about six millimeters or one quarter of an inch. Do this from the first burn and continue the process all through the progress of your candle's life cycle. Number four, extinguishing. Extinguishing is as important as lighting. To extinguish your candle, use a snuffer or blow it out gently. Do not use liquid or the lid to extinguish your candle. Using water to extinguish your candle could cause the hot wax to splatter or the glass jar to break. So be careful when putting out the flame. Number five, general housekeeping guidelines. Apart from the previous instructions mentioned, here are some great housekeeping guidelines we think you should follow. Always keep a candle burning within sight. Never burn a candle on or near anything that can catch fire. Keep burning candles out of reach of children and pets. Be sure the candle is placed on a stable and heat resistant surface. Keep the wax pool free of wick trimmings, matches and any other debris. Keep burning candles away from drafts, vents, ceiling fans and air currents. Always burn candles in a well ventilated room. Don't burn the candle all the way down to the wick. Place burning candles at least three inches from each other. Extinguish a candle if it repeatedly smokes, flickers, or the flame becomes too high. And never use a candle as a nightlight. I hope this information will come in handy when you burn your next candle. And if you don't have one, you can buy one from www.royalessence.co. Well, that's all from me. Follow these instructions and you'll be sure to enjoy your candles without any worries. And remember, stay safe and be beautiful. Bye.